Hi team, my name is Dr. Jen McCollum, and I prefer to be referred to as Jen. Um, if you're not comfortable with calling me Jen, you can feel free to call me Professor McCollum. I'm making this video today to welcome you to our American Literature One course here at Florence Darlington Technical College. And um, I wanted to quickly give you an overview of how videos will work in this class. And I'd also like to provide you some with some insights for getting through your first week in the course. <clears throat> If this is your first time taking an online course, or if you still feel like you're a little bit new to the experience, you're not alone. Um, online learning can be a little bit different than more traditional classrooms. So um, this video is used to help to guide you through your first week and help you to feel more comfortable in the classroom. So I wanted to talk a bit about how I like to use videos in our class. We are involved here in an eight week course and eight weeks to get done, um, all of the readings and all of the assignments can really feel like a whirlwind. So you want to make sure that you understand coming into this course that there's a lot of reading, excuse me, there's a lot of writing, and eight weeks is going to be jam-packed. These videos will be in every single module. We have eight modules, one for each week. And they're designed to give you um, an overview of what's coming up in that week. And every week I'll offer you tips for success. So I'll give you some really um, useful insights into how to approach some of the deliverables, the assignments for the week. Um, sometimes I'll also give some background information or some extraneous information that can help you to contextualize the readings. Um, I also use this video as a way to reflect on the weeks that came before so that you can start to process and synthesize the text that we've read so far which, with the text that we're reading and also the texts that are to come. So there's, there's, there's a method to the madness of having these videos. Finally, these videos are designed to give you a sense of my personality um, because I think that's a really important aspect of online learning that can sometimes be lost. If you are a student who would like to make videos as well um, as part of your forum responses, either your main posts or your uh, peer responses in the forum, I invite you to go ahead and do that. I think it's really important that we get to know each other as people rather than just names or virtual personalities. I think it's I think it's a good thing to have a human connection in a class that can feel otherwise a little bit isolating. So I welcome you to do that. I'd like to start here by giving you a an overview of week one. Week one is probably the easiest week of the course. So it gives you some space to breathe and to familiarize yourself with how the course works. The first thing that I'd like you to do is I'd like you to just experiment and explore with um, um, D2L. I want you to get into our course and I want you to just click on every single link you can click on and take a look at how things are organized. If you see any important files, so for example, the discussion board rubric or the response paper rubric, I want you to go ahead right now and I want you to create a file for this course on your computer's hard drive. Any files that you see that you think you want to hold on to and refer to throughout this course, I want you to go ahead and save those files to that folder. That way you'll have them really handy. You can also do all of your work, put it in this folder, you can have easy access so you can stay organized through this whirlwind of an eight-week course. The next thing that I'd like you to do while you explore the course is I'd like you to go ahead and set a bookmark page that can take you to any important links uh, for this course. You can create a folder um, on your web browser in which you can deposit um, any useful URL links. I want you to go ahead and create a space just for this course. So a couple uh, links that you definitely want to add right away is my YouTube channel. Um, on my YouTube channel, I have a playlist that is called Writing Overview Series. This series is designed for students who are taking online courses with me, and it breaks down 
almost every aspect of the writing process for academic level essays. Um, many of you, most of you, all of you have taken courses before in college writing, but that doesn't really mean that we feel proficient with it and that we feel like we truly understand what the academic essay is. I think it's something that we're always evolving, something that we're always reconsidering. So this writing overview series is designed to help you to grapple with the complexities of the genre. And I would encourage you to watch as many videos as you can along your journey to really wrap your head around what kind of work I'm asking you to do when I'm asking you to write a response paper and an essay and, you know, essay responses to quizzes, etc. It can be really helpful. So you definitely want to bookmark that. All right. So after you, you're done exploring uh, the course, it's time to do the readings. You can find the readings in your Norton anthology, which you purchased, and it was bundled with um, Graf's and Birkenstein's They Say, I Say. You'll notice that They Say, I Say is often not highlighted as part of our weekly readings. It's there to guide you through how to use sources, how to integrate sources well into your writing. That's what that book is focused on. So, for example, you'll notice that for your first forum, uh, I ask that you integrate direct quotes, textual quotes into your responses. This is something that I want to see in pretty much every deliverable that you do. If you're not quite sure how to do that, what that looks like, or you could really use a little bit of support, the They Say, I Say book is exceptional at outlining some approaches. You can also watch one of my overview videos on how to integrate quotes on my YouTube channel. That can help you as well. Here in the first week, you have um, some preliminary readings that are opening our eyes to the discovery of this new world, this new America. We're going to be reading some narratives from Columbus, Devaca, um, and we're also going to be reading some Native American creation stories, which I thought was a really interesting and fruitful way to juxtapose the narratives of these explorers who are really hungry to discover and to learn and to capture <laughs> and to um, kind of capitalize on the possibilities of this new land. I thought it would be very fruitful to juxtapose that with the creation narratives that were indigenous to these Native Americans before the explorers landed. My point of doing that juxtaposition is because the Native Americans are talking about birth and creation and how the world came to be. And when these explorers land on what comes to be called America, they are also stepping into a, a sort of rebirth, right? They have possibilities at their fingertips that they never imagined. It's a new world. So I thought that synthesizing those two very different um, almost polar opposite renditions of birth and creation could really give us some fruitful insights. And I ask you to explore that a little bit in your forum discussion this week. In addition to the readings, um, well, first of all, with the readings, I want to make sure that you are practicing close reading. Um, I mean something very specific when I ask students to do close reading. Here in week one is a very good time to start practicing that. In my writing overview series, you can find a video on what I mean by close reading and how to do it. So please look at that. It can really help you out here in week one. In addition to the readings, you have two forums this week, an introduction forum and your traditional standard response forum. Uh, please read all of the instructions. Please contact me if you have any questions. Please look at the rubric before you complete your work. That'll show you exactly how I'm grading your work. Um, and otherwise, have fun with it. Let your expression come through. I do have an overview video on how to engage well in the forums and also about my expectations, which, which I have included um, here in your startup section of module one. I hope that you'll watch them. Otherwise, guys, have a fantastic week. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me directly, or you can also post your question in the general forum. I do hold online office hours, and I love to chat with students one-on-one, face-to-face. You can schedule a time with me 
uh, times are Eastern Standard Time, but you can um, find that link in our site. I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you here next week. Bye for now.